There we go, we're done. We're in the Shire and we arrive for the start of our journey. Uh, little delving over here in the west hand side. Um, so, uh, Lost Shire Hobbit. I think the Marshfires quest is on the legendary servers. I remember doing it on Treebeard. Yeah, I don't know. I'm sure it's in the intro area as well and not after the intro area. So, maybe it's um, just to do with what phase of the game it's in. If it's set to a certain expansion, it's either in or out. Uh, John Bastian, these animals come straight from the Cretaceous. Uh, Lost Shire Hobbit, so glad you're streaming today. I have work, I have work next su Sunday and would have missed it. So yeah, you're lucky. Um, I thought I'd just get one in uh, before I'm back to work on uh, on Tuesday. Um, make a start on our, on our Shire questing. I don't know how many streams it will take to get through all of it because there's a lot going on and there's a lot of running around. So hopefully I've still got stuff to talk about when I'm constantly running, delivering pies and stuff. Um, so. Uh, we Can't complete our be intro left quest, alone. we get the novice skill, which just basically confirms we're out of the intro area. And then now I should be able to use a load of the items in my bags. Um, so are any of these any good? So I can equip these. I'm just going to make a note of these because I don't mind the, the cosmetic look of this starting gear, so I'll probably stick it in my account wardrobe. Um, so we've got a helm that's better, but that's part of the starting gear. Trousers are better. Um, and then the boots. And that one. So I think it's just those five. I know this one as well. Uh, did I not actually have any gloves equipped? Hmm, maybe I didn't. Whoops. Uh, so what have we got? We've got Might or Vitality. Might is probably the more useful of them, so let's get rid of the other ring. Um, uh, warm Battle Gauntlets does more DPS, so let's use that. Put them down there. Uh, cloak, don't need. Um, so where's the riding skill? Seven stars, riding characteristic. Right, so I can use my horses now. Steed of the Hammer Hand. Uh, was that one of the Rohan expansions? Festive Azure Steed. Um, white clad Steed of the Gap. I think that was Isengard. Red clad Steed of the Gap. Steed of the Eldar. Can't remember where I got that one from. Uh, green clad steed of the gap. On oh, the cloak was that was another one. So all those are part of my brawler starting gear. We'll stick those in the account wardrobe. Steed of the Gundabad Reclaimer. This is one of the new ones. I don't actually know what this one looks like. Um, okay, I'll return home skill. Actually, it's on my bars. Uh, mounts. Steed of Gundabad Reclaimer. What's this look like? Uh, is that a skull? It is. We've got a skull and a spike, because why not? Um, I know it's meant to be more of a dwarven kind of look. Was it, is it more of an orcish look? It's got like a skull on the back. Can't say I'm oppressed with the cosmetic. Not really a fan of that. Um, do I have any more steeds that I can use? Don't see any. So I'm going to make use of one of these. Maybe the Steed of the Eldar is the nicest looking one. Armoured white one. We want something that's going to be befitting of being a, a bit of a fighter. The ponies of the Gap are just a bit more fabric draped. Uh, Festive Azure Pony, I think that's another one with just a little drape on it. Yeah. A bit Irish. Steed of the Hammer Hand be a bit more appropriate for us but this is much more of a heavily armoured uh, looking steed uh, or we can have the goat I know they've been adding a load more of new types of mounts which are technically just reskinned horses or goats um, I think we'll go with the steed of the Eldar um, and then if I put that in my oh, one skill because that's my muscle memory for my 
summoning horse. Um, Might I have a word with you? So, uh, we're going to get our prologue quest for the Hobbit prologue for doing uh, the epic story. Um, so as with all races, there is a prologue unique to each race, but you can do it with any character. So you can go off to the various starter regions, do all the prologues on one character, uh, regardless of which region you start in and what your race is. Um, so we haven't actually done the, the Hobbit one yet, um, but it will take place all entirely in the Shire, and then we'll go off to um, the Prancing Pony, same as everywhere else after you finish the prologue for your race, uh, where you start uh, Epic Volume 1, Book 1. Um, so, uh, this is outrageous, Siri. I will not be satisfied until I receive compensation for my treatment at the hands of the Blackwolds. Um, so this is Mundo, who is with us in, in Archer. Um, I've been most ill-used, and it is more than any hobbit would stand. A Sackville Baggins should be able to travel throughout the Shire and even into Breeland if he wishes it, without danger of being abducted. And when a Sackville Baggins is promised gold, he had better receive some gold when the whole thing is done with. It is only fair. I wrote this letter while you were off looking for John Brackenbook. It doesn't include the business with the brigands burning Archer or that ranger becoming so queer, but it is sure enough for old flower dumpling. Take my letter to Mayor Will Whitfoot in Mickle Delving. It will be just outside the town hall, which will be to your left, surrounded by hedges, when you enter the town. So that's just to direct us into town. A um, couple of quests. Please, stay a moment. So we can join the Bounders. The Bounders are kind of... Uh, sort of like the Shire Police, um, but a bit more relaxed than, than proper police forces. Um, there's tell your one uh, that helps those in need. Well, if if you want to help a shire folk, uh, shire folk, you'll have to join the bounders. Most hobbits are friendly enough, but suspicious of strangers, which is true enough. As a bounder, they'll trust you at least a bit anyway. If you want to join the watch as a bounder, you'll have to speak to second sheriff. He's the, uh, the only one you can sign up with. You'll find him in Michael Delving near the town hall. Second sheriff Bunce is respected by most folk, so if he says you're a right sort, they'll listen. That's good to know. Um, and then we've got from the Shire to Bree Town. Can I take a moment of your time? So this is already directing us to Bree. So if we wanted to just skip the Shire, uh, we're only level six, um, but in theory we could go to Bree and do the areas east side of Bree. Uh, so level six, you'd be looking at um, uh, Combe or uh, uh, what's the other one called? Uh, oh, tomorrow. Uh, Staddle. So yeah, Combe is where you would normally come outside of Archer, then you'd go to Staddle, Midgewater, Marshes and Chetwood, uh, then into Bree, and then like 10 plus you'd be doing the west side of Bree onwards. Um, if you wanted to go over there early because you hate the Shire, and some people do, um, I'm not a huge fan of the Shire, for two reasons. We, get, we end up delivering loads of pies and loads of mail, so there's lots of running back and forth. Um, but it's a bit easier now the fact that I can use horses since I'm a VIP and I can use my riding skill straight away. Um, so, might I have a word with you? Uh, feeling a bit cooped up here in the Shire, eh? I say you should go to Bree, where the men dwell. There's bound to be work for an enterprising sort like yourself. Head east along the road and you'll reach the gates of Bree before you know it. Uh, no, because it's a bloody long way on foot. Uh, stay to the road, mind you. The bounders don't stray far from the Shire. When you reach Bree Town, speak to the mayor. He's a friendly fellow and might find a use for your talents. Um, I don't know how you know him if you're pretty much staying in the Shire the whole time. So we'll take that one off because we're not doing that one right now. Um, okay. It seems we have a spam uh, bot in the chat. should get rid of the spot. There we go. Uh, Might I speak with you a moment? Oh, first time for everything. Um, uh, Lost Shire Hobbit, your username says your favourite area. I'm a real life hobbit. So, um, <laughs> like the simple things in life, 
staying at home, family, drinking, maybe smoking. Um, hopefully nothing uh, too mind-bending. Uh, hello, are you passing through? Would you perhaps be heading down to Mickle Delving? You see, I have a satchel that must be delivered to Postmaster Proudfoot in Mickle Delving. The reputation of the quick post service isn't what it once was. And what I, I really want gentle hobbits throughout the Shire to once again trust in the speedy delivery of their mail. So it's just like real life, basically. Mail services are generally getting crapper as time goes on. Um, would you mind taking it from the table over there and delivering it to Postmaster Proudfoot? He can be found in the square outside the town hall. Just look for the stone wall. Please deliver it to him as quickly as you can, for he won't be happy with me if I get it to him late. Oh, and let no busybodies bother you as you deliver the mail. Come rain, come shine, come nosy hobbits, a postman must deliver the mail on time. Uh, so we can pick that up. Uh, let's just, before we actually pick up the, uh, the letter though, um, because once we do that we're on the clock. Hello uh, there, we'll just speak might to I speak guy. with you a moment? Have you already been to the Mickle Delving Craft Fair? You should definitely go if you haven't already. There's a workbench, a forge and even an oven waiting to be used. If you think you have crafting in your heart, you should visit my friend Emerald Borings at the Craft Fair. She's always happy to help someone get started making useful and pretty things. Pass through, uh, pass east through Little Delving and then follow the path south into Mickle Delving. Take the southwest path from the statue of Marcho and Blanco in the town centre and path to the stables on your right. Uh, take the next left turn to reach the craft fair. Emerald would be happy to help you out. Well, if that's too confusing to follow, it's basically in the southwest of town, so you can't really miss it. Uh, the last thing before we do anything, we're going to barter with this guy. Is there something I can do for you? Um, because shouldn't I have some uh, some tokens of salutation? Um, I can use my fielding coins as well. Um, so we can bring our reward to any of these people. So if you're uh, in the man starting area, which you will be if you are a man or a Bjorning, uh, after the intro area, speak to John Brackenbrook and Archit. Uh, if you're a dwarf, you'll be in Thorin's Hall, so you can speak to Dwalin in the throne room. Uh, you speak to uh, the mayor in Mickle Delving if you're a hobbit, which is what we'll be doing. Uh, in Bree, you have to go to Barlow and Butterbur, and in Kellendim, you have to go to Cardivore uh, if you're an elf starting over there. So we'll accept both of these coins. Uh, can only do one at a time. That's a bit of a bugger. Um, yeah, okay. So I've got to uh, turn it in at the mayor, so that's fine. Um, but I'm sure we used to Just get a moment. some tokens of salutations. Oh, well. Uh, no, I'm not, not talking to you now. So we're going to interact with this table. We'll pick up a satchel. We'll be carrying a satchel in our hands. There we go in that little mail bag down there. Uh, now I'm going to go a bit cross country at some point. Um, but you'll see we've now got a little induction belt. As with most things, if we um, uh, get hit, the blue bar can get decreased quicker than normal, but it is slowly ticking down so you can kind of see it draining. Uh, but we need to deliver the mail before time runs out. Um, and I'm pretty sure yeah, we can't use uh, the, the horses still while we're carrying this, so we have to do it on foot. Uh, do we get a little bit of a speed buff? Yeah, we do. So we get a carrying mouse speed buff. Got to avoid those no nosy hobbitses. Uh, Set your run speed to 120%, so we can run a little bit faster. Not crazy speed like we do in the Isengard instance, where we can get like 200% run speed and it looks like we're, we're running like a cartoon character. Um, so we can follow the road most of the way into town, uh, but somewhere near here, I think we're going to have a nosy hobbit. Or maybe not. Uh, I swear there used to be one at the entrance, so we normally had to swing a bit wide, but no. So over here, this is the the town hall. So if we go to the postmaster, that hands that in, delivered satchel, uh, and we can talk to the mayor. Uh, Will, Will Whitford, uh, hand in How the fielding coin. Uh, what do you have here? A coin of some sort? Doesn't look like much. And what's this? Some sort of doors on the back? What a queer coin you brought me. I suppose it's worth something, although surely not much. Perhaps Keeper Foxtail would like to put it on display at the, in the Mavum House. Yes, that should be fine. Here, choose something that you feel is appropriate for a coin such as this. So we can either have 
a uh, Dwarf Stone of the Dwarra Deeps, which goes in our pocket item. So if you don't have a pocket item, that's good to get because there's not many uh, pocket options early in the game. Uh, a Horn of the Dwarra Delph, which I'm pretty sure I've already got one of anyway, somewhere in my bags. Uh, over here, there we go, which just gives us a plus one hope bonus. Uh, a Pesky Dormouse, which is a housing item, goes in a wall slot. Uh, Colourful Songbird, which is another wall item, uh, goes uh, on a furniture slot. Presumably a small furniture. Um, or just four random potions that give us uh, various bits of mitigation. Um, so none of these are particularly interesting with me. Let's just go with the song. Good day. Um, so the prologue quest. What's this? Oh dear, a letter from Sackville Baggins is not something you want to see. He's holding me personally accountable for his troubles in Breland. I wasn't even there. I've never been outside the Shire. And now I'm supposed to pay just compensation to his family? But he took no harm and he was in Archip his own accord. And you don't happen to know why I wanted to be mayor, do you? Because I seem to have forgotten. Good day. So he's Might not I have enjoying a word with you. Uh, there we go. Level 7. So we unlock the trade system now. And get a load more pop-ups. Uh, so next part of the prologue. Flower dumpling is stand. I've thought about Mundo's demand that I pay compensation for his ill treatment in Breland, Silvery, and I'm not going to do it. We simply can't afford to pay money to satisfy a single hobbit for an experience that was his own, was his own fault to begin with. The Sackville Bagginses have never liked me either. I think it was one of them that started calling me Flower Dumpling after the roof of the town hall gave way and buried me in chalk, you know. I don't mind when the shearers call me that, but from a Sackville Baggins it's just too much. The time has come to take a stand. I will not be bullied by a Sackville Baggins any longer. They can't push me around and I don't mind telling them that. Well actually I'm a little busy. So he's chickening out of it. Uh, run along to Bag End north of Hobbiton and let Labelia, tell Labelia that for me will you? So she's outside uh, Bag End right now. Dear me! Please so, don't leave yet! Uh, let us take off the Winter Festival quest. Uh, obviously, as with all regions, we are going to have a quest to do quests in the region. So, um, quest in the Shire is the life of Bounder trait. Uh, we've also got the restoring the quick post. So, every town has a postmaster that will ask you to deliver mail to somewhere else. Um, so, if we do it in an efficient manner, hopefully every time we go to a different town, we can take the post with us. Um, and hopefully do a, a more sensible route. So each of these these uh, quests in here, um, it tells you the two towns you have to go between. So like Mickle Delving to Waymeet, Waymeet to Needle Hole, Needle Hole to Mickle Delving, and so on, so forth. Um, so it's easy enough to figure out where you need to pick up them, uh, the the mail from if you don't know where you need to go. Uh, refurbishing the town hall. Mayor Whitfoot set aside some money to refurbish town hall and Mickle Delving, but it seems the carpenters haven't received it and they won't work unless they are paid. One of the mayor's other assistants, Griffo Boffin, was supposed to make sure the carpenters receive the money. He hasn't shown up for work though, and I'm worried that something has happened to him. He lives up in Needlehole, far to the north and beyond the Ruchok Bog. Please visit Griffo, make sure he's alright, and then return here with the missing money. Griffo lives near the centre of Needlehole. The best way to get there is to head east to Waymeet, and then follow the road north and west through the Ruchok Bog until you reach Needlehole. I would do it myself, but I'm responsible for making sure the mayor's image remains untarnished. And, well, with Mayor Whitfoot, that's a job that takes more hours than there are in a day. So basically, this politician needs his PR guy. Um, we'll be able to get a, a uh, cape out of that, but it's probably not going to be any good for us. Uh, so, let's remove the quick post deed. Um, your festival's here. I know. Go away. Um, so this is the Might postmaster. I speak with you a moment? He's going to send us on a bundle for Waymeet. So Waymeet is the little kind of village outpost kind of thing uh, on the crossroads to East of Mickle Delving. It's not too far. It's an easy one to deliver them out to. Hello there. Um, Might I speak with you a moment? And we've got hiders and seekers. Hello there. You wouldn't mind helping me out with a game of hiders and seekers, would you? You see my. Friends Daisy and Polo have convinced me to play, even though they always hide in the same places. It isn't nearly as much fun as when your friends are so unimaginative, as I'm sure you realise. It would be fantastic if you could round them up for me. I'll give you a coin or two if you help me out, but I don't know how many more times I can pretend to be surprised that Daisy is hiding 
in the bushes next to Peony Grub's home, or that Polo is crouched behind the carved statue of Marcho and Blanco. You'll find the statue carved on a large tree stump just south of here, and I'm sure that Polo Brockhouse is hiding right by it. Southeast of the statue, there's a small hill with several hobbit houses behind a wooden fence. Daisy thinks the bushes to the right of Peony Grub's house are a clever place to hide. Find my friends for me, and next time I'll try and tell them I don't feel like playing hiders and seekers. So he's uh, a bit bored of that. Um, then what have we got? We've got another one over here. So this is the bounder guy, Second Sheriff Bodo Bunce. Is there something I can do for you? So you were sent my way, were you? Well, I've heard good things about you, and I'd be glad to have you helping us out. Welcome, well met, well hired. Help out as many shy folk as you can, and you'll rise through the ranks. What our cares may seem of small importance to others, the delivery of the mail, the tasting of fine foods, the lighting of fireworks, but you and I know they are worth protecting. These peaceful ways are threatened, and danger can be found even throughout the Shire. Aid our people with their daily concerns, but if you travel to more distant villages, such as, such as Needlehole, Overhill, or Brocken Borings, bring a weapon with you, Bounder. Life is dangerous on the borders of the Shire, and the further you get from Mickle Delving and Hobbiton, the more likely you are to see combat. Uh, well, we like a bit of combat. Uh, right, so we're going south then. So this is the statue of... Um, uh, what was it? Marco and uh, Blanco or something? Marco and Blanco? So if we come over here... Uh, there we go. Polo Brockhouse. Hello there. Haha, -ha, Rolo sent you to find me, did he? It always takes him so long to find us. Just between you and me, I don't think he's very good at hiders and seekers. I'll stay here and think about where I can hide for our next game. Probably the same spot. Um, but yeah, we can interact with this. Uh, so the Bounders Bounty was an event they did a while back. Um, so they got the uh, the rewards for the various servers and uh, top players. Of all the people that participated uh, permanently etched in here. Um, but also as well um, you've got the Bounders Bounties for individual servers so you can see other servers other than your own I think the centre one shows you uh, your own server um, so south west of town south east of town up a hill there's a bunch of hobbit houses and in the bushes to the side of one of the hobbit houses is our other Hider, Daisy Brockhouse. How do you do? Rolo sent you to look for me. Oh, he always gives up so easily. I'm not sure that you can do that in a game of hiders and seekers. I'm pretty sure it's against the rules. If you don't find the hiders yourself, you aren't much of a seeker, are you? Anyway, I'll wait here until Rolo finds everyone else. This is a great hiding spot, isn't it? Um, and we'll see there's a couple of quests here we can pick up. Could I take a moment of your time? Um, so, I've received a most distressing letter. My good friend Dora, she's a chicken farmer near Waymeat, has written to say that a pack of wolves has invaded the Shire and driven her from her farm. She's staying in Waymeat for the time being, but the sooner she can get her farm back, the better. Can you help? Just take the northeast road to the centre of Waymeat. You just tell Dora Brownlock that I've sent you to help her with her wolf problem. Wolves in the Shire? What's going on in the world these days? So, that's really technically a Waymeat quest. I want a word with you. So, remove that from the tracker for now. Uh, you're just the sort I was hoping would come along. A bounder. Well, I've only just literally been uh, hired, though. Uh, my brother up in Brock and Borings is a bounder, so ordinarily I would ask him for help with this. But Brock and Borings is such a long way from here, and I really want to get this problem taken care of as soon as possible. There's a terrible infestation of shrews to the east of here, beyond the delving fields, and they're burrowing deep into the soil and ruining the greenery. If you can find some of their burrows and close them up, that should keep the filthy little beast from straying near the town. It's your duty to help me with this bounder. Uh, pick that up. 